we talk a lot about mental health after a tragedy happens, but tonight some Colorado lawmakers are taking action before. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez found a bipartisan bill that would let people with mental health issues make a medical plan to protect themselves and others. The first time I saw a psychiatrist was in when I was in fifth grade. Evan Silverman was first diagnosed with depression. In college, it progressed to paranoia. The hardest part of my journey was when I couldn't fall asleep for two consecutive nights. You know, Lance, I was looking at my watch and every second was like, was like an eternity. It was like one 1,000, two 1,000. A doctor at University Hospital recommended electroconvulsive therapy. It worked. But the next time Evan had a psychotic episode, his insurance company told him to go to a different hospital. And it was a disaster. So I spent, ended up spending 13 days in isolation. What happened to Evan is heartbreaking. Andrew Romanoff with Mental Health Colorado says when patients like Evan pose a threat to themselves or others, advanced psychiatric directives could be the answer. It would be extremely useful, perhaps even life-saving, to be able to commit to paper in a binding legal form the course of treatment they want when they're no longer in a position to make that decision. It makes him um, an equal part of that team. It makes him part of being very active in his own treatment. Representative Tracy Kraft Tharp is a sponsor of a bill allowing adults to create a directive communicating health history, medication, and treatment preferences in the event of a psychotic episode. She says the directives are not mandates. If a doctor feels like there is a course that needs to happen or if somebody is violent, um, that takes precedence. If the bill wins legislative approval, the advanced directives would become part of a patient's medical records, accessible by every doctor or treatment facility. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. And this bill passed unanimously in committee. It goes to the full House Monday. 25 states already have similar laws in place.